Hey guys, welcome to Crowbar Cracks Open. Today we're taking a look at Disneyland Adventures. Uh, this game came out originally for the Xbox 360 uh, with the Kinect. It was a Kinect game uh, as the title was originally Disneyland Kinect Adventures. Um, as you can see on the title screen, they have uh, made it applicable with a controller. And now it is on Xbox One. I believe it's a second party Microsoft game, so it's currently available through Game Pass. I don't think it'll, they'll be pulling it, um, but I could be wrong about it being a second party, um, so play while you can. Um, in fact, when the first game came out, I actually trekked all over Los Angeles trying to find a copy uh, with my then girlfriend, uh, because paying almost $100 to go to Disneyland is kind of a pain uh, when you can pay far less to enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. Uh, as we'll see here. So I'm going to jump in here. I've got a, a game started, almost completed, um, right here. We'll jump into that one a little bit. I want to kind of just uh, take a, a look at the beginning. Um, so we're going to start a new game here. One thing um, I noticed from going from Connect to Controller is that <laughs> this game is quite shallow. Uh, when I played it on Connect uh, years ago, it was a fair fair diversion it seemed well put together for a connect game um, and as soon as you introduce the controller to it you realize just how much of the game is kind of dependent on it being a connect game many of the mini games are quite simple so the attractions we'll get into that but uh, the mini games themselves are pretty simple and then uh, maneuvering around the park and what you can interact like the things you can interact with um, and how you interact it kind of is just really uh, based on the connect. So we'll take a look here at uh, this, this sweeping through Main Street USA. As you can tell right off the bat, it looks like Disneyland. If you've been there um, recently, it looks pretty much as you would expect there isn't any Star Wars I mean this game technically is like five years old six years old um, so my main playthrough is a boy so uh, for the Star you know, well we mix it up and uh, go with a girl so here you can see there's some basic uh, you know very basic uh, customization options white kid black kid um, I want to say Hispanic kid Asian kid you, know, you get four races which which race are you I'm gonna go with white. Um, then, then you can mix up the styles a little bit. I think all you know there are only four, um, or maybe five. I like this little bob we got going here. Eh, let's keep it blonde. So then you can uh, mix and match shorts and tops. Uh, you get costumes throughout. Um, I like this little Minnie Mouse uh, inspired shirt here. How about some shorts and leggings? I like that. Although it's weird, like an uh, autumn pattern. It's the middle of summer, but whatever. Hey, Finish your character. Pal. I'm Mickey Mouse. So this is where Mickey is gonna like kind of explain. Uh, Gosh, pal, I was hoping to get some of how the game goes today, but I've been so busy with the Toontown mayor election that I so, haven't had a chance. Uh, we'll take it in here. Say, do you think you could ask Donald to sign this book for me? I'd sure appreciate it. So eventually, you unlock uh, way more autograph books. Long. I'll show you kind of like the progression. These first couple quests are pretty easy, um, but it also highlights just kind of how simple the game is. Uh, any slowdown you see is definitely occurring. This game does not run uh, particularly well. Then again, I am on a day one Xbox One, so that could be the problem. Uh, I believe if I had an Xbox One X, I, I wouldn't be having any issues. But essentially, you know, you follow the glowing uh, pathway as you saw there. And you come here, and now we can interact with Donald. So we'll hit X. Um, each character has four uh, basic interactions. Um, you can dance with them, you can hug them, you can give them a high five, or you can ask them to sign your autograph. Um, for these early quests, I think it locks you into a, a couple of the. Um, Interactions on the right there, you saw um, a cross pop up uh, momentarily, and, and we'll be looking at that soon. There it is again. Although it's weird that the icons on it don't change uh, to a girl, 
uh, those that's that essentially is exactly how my boy uh, character looks. Um, here we'll, we'll I'll show you all the four you can do. So here's here's the high five. Every character has some variation of it. You know, um, if you try and high five the queen of hearts or something, she'll I think she does like a curtsy. It's more of a you know a greeting. Uh, hug is, is is sort of like you know friendly gesture. Most of the characters hug. I think there might be a couple that avoid a hug and do something different. Um, hitting right gets gets the autograph. Um, and then the best one is probably um, if, if you hit down um, where you dance. Um, each one of these were uh, dictated by a different movement um, on the connect. So for dancing you had to bow, high five, you just raised your hand. You can kind of see it on here. Um, or the autograph book, you ha hold your hands out like Oliver Twist. Uh, can I get some more? Uh, and then for a hug, you just kind of open wide and open yourself for it. And they can do it. I'm not actually going to uh, jump on to the Connect at all um, during this playthrough. If you guys are looking for that, uh, comment uh, down below and let me know that you want to see me play some Disneyland adventures uh, with the Connect. There's a progress bar up there, you know, your level. So I think we gotta go back to Mickey. Um, his, 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 his portrait is up there in the left. A lot of this game is just following the glowing trail and uh, kind of doing errands. <laughs> Having played almost all of it, uh, I can safely assure you that this game's primary directive is to distract your kids. That's really it. Um, if you do not want to deal with them, and you want them to just have fun in Disneyland? Put them in front of the TV with the Kinect and uh, Disneyland Adventures, and they'll tire themselves out. So uh, that's one thing it's good at. So parents out there, I highly recommend this kid game. Uh, if your kids like Disney, it, it's really cool. It really does feel like a trip to Disneyland. Uh, my bad. I talked all the way through Mickey's explanation. But basically, uh, these early quests are, hey, get an autograph from the main people you know. Um, after you talk to, you know, your classic crew, as it were, uh, things open up a little bit more. Ready for adventure? And, uh, after I kind of show you the, the basics, I think I'm going to jump into my other uh, save file. Because I can, I can basically do right. There's hidden Mickeys. Um, I can't collect that now. Um, you need a camera, uh, which is actually one of the first unlocks. So, like there, there are some cool things to do. Um, there's some photo pass stuff. So another camera thing where you just go around and take pictures of like landmarks at Disney. Wowee! Donald signed that for me. Gorge, thanks. Okay. See you later, oh, dude. Sometimes, like, I, I'll just button through something that... Bet you're off to Critter Country, huh? um, so, Goofy just gave you uh, an autograph book um, that you're supposed oh, to get filled out. Over the map. And now here, here they're kind of showing you how to navigate the system. So they're like, hey, hey, this is how you use the map. Okay, I get how this works. Um, you can see this that there are four characters, uh, current shops, little exclamation points. That, that basically indicates, hey, there's, there's quests here uh, that you can pick up. So right now we're in Main Street. I'm gonna stay there for now. But then what? Um, I guess I gotta find someone else in Main Street to give me a quest. Here, you can see. Um, here's where the autograph books are. Right now I only have the one. The Sensational Six. Uh, Donald's the only one to have signed it, so I didn't. <laughs> I uh, let down my duty and uh, did not did not grab Goofy's signature before I headed out. So let's do that. Gorge, it's just about the most fun you can have. You know, there are, we'll, we'll we'll see it uh, here shortly. Um, but there are attractions uh, that you can get into, so it's not all just these quests and running around and talking to the mascot characters. It's a lot of that. I'm not. Sure. I'm not trying to skirt that. To I've probably name. put maybe 20 hours <laughs> in this game, um, and it really is just running back and forth. Um, Here you characters go. typically will have three quest Good types. Um, there will be the quest that is, "Hey, go talk to another character in the park." 
uh, there will be the quest, hey, collect something that's in the park. Uh, you know, I need, you know, three pieces of an invitation. I need um, all these parts of a costume so I can trick somebody. Um, you know, there's there's a logic uh, and a story kind of reason for the stuff you're picking up in a very micro sense. These are very, you know, self-contained narratives, as it were. You know, you're not doing a whole lot of uh, world building, you know, there's not some grand conspiracy at Disneyland that you're trying to thwart or anything. Um, you're really just kind of like, hey, Goofy, what do you want, you know, need me to do anything? Um, so I'm going to run. Hello again. Yeah, normally following the, the glowy path is a good idea. Yeah, Mickey's the one that has the question mark or the exclamation point above his head, so let's go talk to him. I've got a present for you. In addition to those, um, you also have a uh, photo, pa you know, some characters will give you photo books to fill out, um, so you go to a certain locations and take photos. The glowy trail will get you exactly where you need to go, so, and again, uh, we just received the camera, so, um, what, uh, the one other thing you can do with, uh, with characters is, um, Let's take photos with him, so instead of being in that little radio menu, you just approach him and hit the left trigger when your camera's approached and you can uh, do this. This part, um, while when you're in Connect, you can pose with Mickey, so it gives you a little bit more freedom. It's weird because there are some quests where you're supposed to match poses, and if you're using a controller, it's it does it automatically. You literally just have, it's talk to the person, you do the poses. Um, Get them from they the incorporated a, a rhythm game for some of the attractions. I kind of wish they would have gone that route when it came to those hey, posing things. Could you help me out again? I'm making but, a photo album. They didn't me, do that. But I still need pictures of Goofy and Donald. Would you mind finding? And then uh, there, there, there is a fourth a type of uh, quest, Thanks. and those are the quests that will push uh, push you to an attraction. So essentially, a character would be like, "Hey, I need this item." And you have to go through a uh, mini game and make sure you collect that item uh, while you're doing it. And thanks again for helping me get Goofy's picture. That's that's pretty much the basics of it. You're really seeing seeing what the game has to offer. Um, there's a photo. You see that little hopping stand there? That's a photo pass thing. Let me go grab that. Welcome back. So you pull up your camera. It'll zoom in and be like, all right. And then uh, you just for uh, discovery photos, you got to make those little brackets in the center turn green. Uh, they'll be red if you're out of focus, and your goal is to just make sure that they turn green. So overall, I mean, the game's really, Mickey, be sure to use really your pretty camera. basic. Um, we'll continue on this, this little path here, uh, this little quest line, uh, for a, lo a little bit longer, and then I'll, I'll hop over into my other game. I really do enjoy like how they model Disneyland though. Like it, it gives you the feeling that you're there. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Unfortunately, there's no way to like change. Uh, you can move your arms, like lift them up or down with, I want to say the triggers, but it doesn't really change your position all that much. You know, not a, and and uh, to top it off, any photos you go back and try and look at. With, You're gonna have to find uh, it your with the character that was taken with the controller doesn't actually have your player in those photos. It's just the the Disney character. Good luck, pal. Cause no one's better at finding so I think they were a little bit you. better about saving uh, saving no. your stuff when <laughs> on the connect. Funny. And I have not played enough of it in order to uh, know whether or not the connect version on this copy does the same, or if they stripped that when they made it more controller accessible. You're gonna find and a then lot of um, each of the, the lands has their own shop, which you can get unique items. Um, there are some items that are, you know, across, you like photography? Take a look at our photo across the park. So here, uh, you can see, you know, from the get-go, you can buy any of the autograph books. Um, so it just... Basically, each autograph book contains one character. 
So in order to uh, complete all of them, you got to talk to all the Disney characters in the park. Clothes are cool because you can buy costumes. I think that's my favorite part of the, this is like dr dressing up in costumes. Um, you know, so like. I only play as, as the boy, and so I don't get to see a lot of these, um, because, like, I have Aladdin and Peter Pan, that kind of stuff, whereas, you know, apparently, on the f female side, um, we get Rosetta, Belle, like, I have Beast, Cinderella, I think there is a Prince Charming costume that you get, Jesse, I have, obviously, Woody, You get some of the, the fairies, Princess Aurora. So it seems a lot more uh, princess based. And it, obviously this is a start. As you, as you do more and more uh, quests, you unlock uh, more costumes that you can buy. Um, merchandise, you collect pins. I know there are some Disney pin traders out there who might get uh, really excited. Um, but, you know, these the pins don't do anything. You just buy them and they go get put in a book. Um, I'll show you <laughs> when I jump over to my other save. And then here are the photo albums that you can also buy. So there's a lot of stuff to buy, as you can see on the left there, my 40,000 coins. Uh, you burn through your coins really fast, but it's also not very hard to get them. Um, the attractions give you so many... Ball me up and throw and me so, away. Um, Will you look at that? that those you portals are goes? for the attraction. Right now, our quest is to uh, go get Donald's hat from the Matterhorn. So, what I think I'm going to do is we'll jump into that. I'll do that quest and then we'll hop over into my other save. So, um, I'm going to take a, a little detour and uh, we'll go through Tomorrowland um, before we hit the Matterhorn. Obviously, the Matterhorn's right there. I can run straight and then just hit right but I want to show you a little bit more of, of the park before you there you know Plaza Inn and people who are familiar with the Disney character breakfast might uh, be familiar with that area my, my roommate had a birthday party uh, there one time and uh, I was hugged many a time during breakfast by uh, the cat from Pinocchio and Chip and Dale. Many, many uh, characters coming by. Character breakfast can be fun you if you go go into it with a uh, open mind. So you know, um, they did have to take some liberties. Obviously, you know, Star Tours not really uh, something you can do here. Everything, you know, all the buildings and stuff are set up for it, but. There's no Star Wars signage at all. Um, and like I said, keep in mind this game was originally developed probably six, seven years ago before Disney had even acquired the license. So, you know, you come back here, you got your Space Mountain. Unf I was disappointed. There are three, uh, there are two. Come uh, here! Two two attractions that don't have any quests that kind of lead into them and actually one there really is only space mountain there is no quest that kind of pushes you to to do space mountain so um if you are interested in playing space mountain you gotta jump into it yourself um everything else has a quest matterhorn actually only has the quest we're currently doing so you know very very much uh, you know there's the pizza port you know Innovation, everything you would expect from Tomorrowland. Yeah, we come back here. Here's Neo's somewhat submarine voyage. I still, you know, back when I used to go to Disney World, I still remember Ten Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, we come by here. And the mini games aren't very much like the rides. Like that's the one thing I kind of wish there was a mode that was strictly like you could choose to just do. The rides as though it were like Planet Coaster or something like that, you know. I think that's the one thing the game is missing. And so now we're on the backside of Matterhorn. There it is. You can see the waterfalls. Looks nice. Matterhorn is always beautiful. It rides like shit, but. Uh, oh no, that was a swear word on a Disney video. Yeah. 
I've been pretty good. Uh, we're 20 minutes in, and that was my first swear that I believe I uh, uttered. So I might actually beep that out. So uh, you might not know what I said. You might. Depends on how I feel. I don't try and keep my videos PG-13 or below, so it really doesn't matter. Um, if kids are stumbling upon this, sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, some some of the attractions will swap your costume uh, for a specific thing. So for this, we have to, you know, make sure we grab Donald's hat. If I remember correctly, they make it pretty easy to get. It's not something you have to worry about. Um, and uh, the attractions fall into, like, really one of three types. Uh, this is one of them. Essentially, it's an endless runner where you can move left or right, jump, um, or, you know, some some uh, water-based ones will give you a paddle that you can knock back things. Um that are thrown at you, this one just gives you snowballs to throw at yetis. So we'll jump in here. These cute, you know, these cutscenes can be kind of cute. Um, the first time you, you see them, they're cool, but after that, there's not much to them. And, Sorry you know, things that. like the jungle screws. I don't have any, you know, there isn't a specific uh, jungle cruise, you know, what, what, what would you call? Skipper, there we go. Uh, there's not a skipper, a specific skipper I know, so like it's hard to really impress like with characters. Splash Mountain. Uh, you definitely, there's a whole Song of the South storyline, so, uh, they, they aren't shying away from Briar Bear, Rabbit, or, uh, Fox, which is cool. Um, that's the one thing that I think is always sad when I go on Splash Mountain. I'm just like, oh, right! Uh, Disney's completely disavowed this movie. There's not a whole lot of ways to see it, and so, you know, my memories of Zippity Doo on the Disney sing-along tapes are pretty much all I'm going to ever get of Song of the South. One day maybe I'll see it. Yeah, I mean, if, if there's an attraction that should be tied to a character, that character's probably uh, here. The exception being Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, there is no Johnny Depp, there is no Jack Sparrow. I don't understand that because he is a Disney <laughs> He's Disney owned, um, unless Touchstone really didn't want him uh, in this game. Instead, the pirate that you deal with in New Orleans is Black Bart. Uh, I don't actually know if he's technically from stuff. I should be throwing snowballs as I see Yetis, but I'm not even paying attention to them. I'm really just trying to make sure I grab Donald's hat. And sometimes there are these like little cutscenes in the middle of, uh, of your runs. Well, the goal is just to collect coins. Uh, your star rating is based entirely on your coins. If you get hit, you're temporarily dazed and you can't collect. But a lot of times, you know, it's it's worth it to get risky so that you can collect a secret or something. Like that. Uh, another collectible. I'm just, right now, I'm just spamming the right trigger. Uh, one of the secrets is to hit the 10 yetis, so... Yeah. Um, when it's connect, like I said, you know, it makes a lot more sense in that you, you actually have to do the throwing motion. And then I think you move your arms up and right to see which is never. But it was at least, you know, challenging. It made the game a little bit more of a game. Uh, with a controller, like, this is really just a, you know, really barely above that you can find on a phone, as far as, you know, interactivity. Then again, you know, this this game is marketed towards kids, so maybe I'm being a little bit harsher on it than I should. I, I, like, I, like, I said at the beginning of the video, I appreciate this game as a way to enjoy Disneyland without dropping a casino. <laughs> You know, 120, I think, is what the part happened in the last. And honestly, I prefer California Adventure when it comes to actually going to the park. Because I'm an adult, and California Adventure has places where I can enjoy adult beverages 
And, you know, Tower of Terror now, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's probably the best ride at any of the parks, and I just screwed up there, as you can see. Like, I went through the secret, but because I hit the ice still, it didn't count. So, I will one day have to uh, re redo this run. Nah, on my other save, I probably will, but this one I just have to get to the end, because we did grab it. We grabbed the hat. You can kind of see these, these levels go on for a while. I've had five stars for a good a good chunk of this run. And that's the problem. I, th I think that's the one problem I have uh, with this game being a controller game. Is it's just, it, it makes it too simple. As a Kinect game, I could I could kind of find a reason, like, okay, you know, they had to make these games simple because, you know, you, you're dealing with kids and the Kinect. So those are two things that when you put them together, you're not going to have a uh, ton of fidelity, you're not going to have you know, super tight controls or you know, jumps or anything like that that you might need to make, but uh, because of that, I feel like I find myself getting frustrated at things that sh The game is so oh, like overall easy that when things aren't easy, it's even more frustrating. Um, just because the difference in what you're used to Also, the load times uh, are not great. Uh, you stare at this uh, red ether for a long time. Uh, if you play this game a lot, you will you will become very familiar with this screen. Uh, some sometimes your character is, is wearing the costume that you put them in. Sometimes they're wearing random stuff that the game is just like, hey, you want to wear this, right? Although in this tunnel, uh, those those leggings kind of make her look like she has leprosy or like some so sort of disease on her legs. It just looks weird. Ah <sighs> oh, man, it's still loading. Okay, there we go. It's it's kind of ridiculous that uh, a modern game would have load times so bad. But, you know, here we are. And now, you know, we get to run it all the way back to Toontown. You know, we got Donald's hat, and now we have to get it to him. So, we'll go to a part of the park that I literally never go to. Um, I don't know about you, but as, as an adult, there really isn't a whole lot for me back in Toontown. Um, I think a lot of what they lean on are the Mickey cartoons uh, from Saturday morning. Uh, and when they started those, you know, I was already kind of in high school. So, like, everything Toontown's based on kind of, kind of before my, or after my time, I should say. But, you know, just like everything else in the park, it looks like you would expect. You know, the Five and Dimes there. You know, there's the City Hall. There are a few attractions, so I, I know earlier I said there, there are some attractions uh, you know, that don't let you ride them as though they were just rides. Uh, and that's bogus. Like, I just want to go on Small World. It's cool that you put together a, uh, a cool mini game for it, but seriously, just model Small World. Uh, if that was the case, I'd, I would play this game like once a day just to, just to go hang out, <laughs> you know? Uh, but there are a few rides, such as the Toontown Coaster, uh, the Teacups, I want to say the Orbit Blaster in uh, Tomorrowland, and then also the Dumbo Elephants in Fantasyland. So there are like four or five uh, rides that you can kind of get that theme park experience on. Here we're doing the coaster. It's a short one, so... I don't know why I don't get the first, like, you know, in the front row. I'm pretty sure you always have this view, like, it doesn't move you from, like, different spots in the train. Also, calling it a pineapple whip is weird. Like, don't mention if you guys can't say dull. That's just that's strange. Um, no, I don't want to write it yet. So, I mean, there's some cool stuff to do in this game if you are a Disney fan. Like I said, there's you know there's another hidden Mickey. Now that I have my camera, 
I'm gonna show you how this works. Here, you pull it out. And then you can frame it up. And, you know, there's yellow. Oh no, there's red. You know, the discovery photos work exactly the same. So you line it up, grab a photo of it, and boom, we got our first hidden Mickey. How's that? Uh, let's give Donald his hat back. And I think this is a good kind of way for the game to uh, introduce you to what you can do. Because basically you start at Main Street, Mickey in, you know, greets you and invites you to the park, and then you get thrown to the very back of the park. Um, which I think is a great way, because now in order to get back to where you were, you have to pass through a bunch of stuff. And by doing that, you're going to see a, a lot of quests... Um, and other things you might want to check out, you know, other attractions, like you'll, you'll have to go past Small World, uh, you gotta talk to uh, the princess, you know, you're gonna go past the princess uh, section where, uh, which is just a bunch of uh, mini games. I think there's an actual, like, princess stage show over by Small World um, that they're based on. So I think it's, like, this is really well designed. Um, but yeah, my, my biggest gripe is that it's just repetitive. <laughs> I think uh, I'm driving the point home uh, on how repetitive it is by repeating that it's repetitive. Uh, so, that's essentially the basics. So now let's just head over here. Uh, kind of give you an idea of what else we can do. Typically, it'll autosave after any big thing you do, so you don't have to worry about losing uh, much progress if you pull out that there isn't really a need to like save before exiting. 1%, let's jump into a 76%. <laughs> um, fast passes, so if you want to like just do attractions, um, you know, you can do that. So let's take a look at what attractions we have. We have Alice in Wonderland. Um, each of these, oh shit. <laughs> uh, God. So uh, my connect is alum. Um, so voice commands work, as you can tell. <laughs> so that that can be kind of annoying uh, when I'm just kind of muttering out loud. Uh, so I need to capture the two secrets and down the rabbit hole, and I would get the platinum badge. Um, so each each attraction has five stars. Uh, you get bronze badge for getting three stars, silver for four, and gold for five and those stars are based on your scores in, in these levels. So, um, it's cumulative, so after the first chapter, even if you get five stars, I think you only get two stars on, on the main thing. So you gotta kinda do good in all of them. And then after you five star everything, you just need to get all the secrets and that gets you the platinum. So let's go back and take a look, and I won't, I won't announce them as, long, as, uh, as loudly, because otherwise it'll keep, uh, keep up. But there are typically three, two or three, uh, some have four, uh, different variations or levels. So, you know, this is this is more of a shooter. You know, the, here's your you know rhythm game. This is going to be more of like what we saw with Matterhorn, um, where you kind of are on a track uh, where you're dodging things. This, this mixes it up, you know, this is more of a shooter where you're popping uh, different bundles. Rhythm, you know, you have your rhythm game. The, this is a little different, but very much the same. Winnie, you're kind of floating along on a balloon. A lot of these are just uh, going down a track and avoiding obstacles and grabbing, grabbing things like that. I, I don't want to sound reductive, uh, but that's essentially it. I think Nemo is probably the most interesting one in that you're kind of doing a hide behind a rock thing, and then there's a couple sword fights in these two, which can be fun. Uh, there, are, there's some slight variation, but very, very much what you saw with Matterhorn is what your attractions are going to be. Not a whole lot of variation there. 
again, like, I think, you know, for a Disney fan, for a kid who loves Disney, this game is probably all you need. Um, there's a lot, a lot of fun stuff to do. You know, it's all basically the same fun stuff, though. So, I think uh, a kid's attention span might might work to uh, benefit here, in that you know they can play it a little bit, go away, and come back, and you know it's it's fun still. For me. <laughs> The achievements are definitely what's driving me to kind of play this to completion. Um, I got to a point where I was like, oh, I, I could complete this game. I might as well. So, here you can already see I'm, I'm, I'm uh, here in a Lost Boys costume. Um, and we're in Main Street, USA. Uh, if I pull up my park map, I have done all of the quest except those in Fantasyland. Fantasyland is where we're going. Uh, New Orleans Square is showing that I also have one. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to Naveen. So why don't we do that? Uh, I thought I was done with New Orleans, but uh, I apparently am not. So let's go, let's go talk to Naveen. I thought uh, this was gonna take us to Tomorrowland. Or not Tomorrowland, Fantasyland. Uh, I like changes uh, in plans though. And for the, the sake park. of our our run, I will change out a costume just so you can kind of get an idea of what costumes the boys are working with. Um, so you go go to your dressing room. I got a bunch of hats as well as shirts. So we'll take a look at like what is possible. If if you are all about what you can unlock and that's that's what's gonna drive you, you know, tune tune out now because um, I'm gonna show some stuff. Uh, we got cap, you know, some cool hats. Br Briar Fox hat, mini hat, and all these hats can only be worn with tops and legs. So if if you want to try and like pair an interesting, you know, like put this on the Mad Hatter uniform, not gonna work. Um, some interesting stuff. Um, again, like the girls' costumes are are different. You know, instead of Zerg and and uh, Buzz, you're you're definitely gonna get more princess related stuff you know Woody's hat I think you'd probably get Jesse's hat on, on the other side and then you get a bunch you know uh, basic tees uh, character tees all of this is the stuff I've bought over the course of the game and I currently have a 1.5 million coins I'm not gonna spend any more like there's nothing else for me to spend that money on so I like the Lost Boy costumes. Honestly, they're the cool ones. Uh, Hawaii costume you get from Stitch. You know, Prince Charming, Nemo. I'm not. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not bad. I like the spacesuit. It looks very Tron-esque. Um, so we'll just go with that. But yeah, you uh, like I have a Jungle Cruise outfit. Um, I'm trying to think what else. This is gonna, there's the Bear Lost Boy outfit as well as the Rabbit. And yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty much Disneyland Adventure. Um, you can kind of, I mean, game progress wise. I've pretty much done all of the quests except for apparently some in New Orleans and Fantasyland. And that has pretty much brought my total uh, across the board up to, you know, 70 or higher. But, you know, I haven't done a lot of the Hidden Mickeys. That's, that's something I've been waiting on. Um, and yeah, you get secrets just by doing, you know, um, so... Here's our camera, and then there's like a magic wand in the, so that you can uh, like activate things and get more coins. And there's certain things if you hit will activate secrets, so you need to like use your wand on every lamppost and that'll be a secret. Or, you know. uh, then we have Buzz Blaster, which uh, gives you certain things to shoot, mainly like lampposts uh, can be shot. And lit up, and then you know there are certain like things that'll hang in the air that you can shoot. 
fish po uh, fishing pole, you know, when you're near water, there will be little orange fish that kind of look like Nemo, but bigger, like, you know, like giant clownfish, but they're not clownfish, like, carp, like, they basically just, like, look like koi fish, um, that you pick up, you got a megaphone that can disrupt beehives, um, and other things, very uh, niche thing. Same with the spyglass. You know, there are hidden chests that start to appear uh, when you're near them, and then you just need to uh, flush them out more. You know, here's the tiki room. You know, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I think well, this is one of my favorite things. So we'll we'll do a little bit of this. We're getting <laughs> the video is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna try and uh, wrap this up as soon as uh, possible um, now that we've pretty much shown everything I just want to do the tiki room then we'll uh, talk to Naveen I think that's that'll pretty much wrap it up uh, like I said um, earlier in the video if you want to see me you know play through more of this or uh, you know show off some of the, the attractions that I haven't uh, dealt with here uh, by all means leave a comment I'm happy to do bonus videos um, I'm going to be starting a playlist of just kind of like videos that are related to my main series videos but you know really don't fit so straight up here you know so with this I don't know if you can hear the clacking of my sticks but essentially uh, you want to match your stick movement to the music notes and then when those little things pop up you press the button. And you can kind of see how as a connect thing this actually would be good. I'm talking mainly so I don't get flagged uh, for having the tiki song. This is, this is in fact the tiki torch uh, like the Tiki Room song proper. I know Disney can be litigious on YouTube, so... If you're currently uh, watching this and you're not hearing the Tiki song, probably because I swapped out the audio. Uh, but in the princess area where you do the rhythm games, they sing their, you know, their well-known song. At first, you know, it was a little strange with the sticks, um, but I do like kind of like the conducting aspect of this. And you also can't do this off the start. Uh, you don't get the ability to conduct the band until you talk to Nivea and do a few of his quests. There's actually a couple bands in New Orleans. And then there's also, you know, like Haunted Mansion has the green green ghosts outside that you can do this kind of thing for. So, yeah, like, it's cool that they included, like, stuff that is so just, like, absolutely Disney. When they didn't have to, you know, like, I'm sure if they had just modeled the Tiki Room there, people would have been happy, but, you know, you get to kind of conduct the performance, right? There is no, uh, as you could kind of tell from them ta uh, <laughs> those two people talking about pineapple whips on uh, on the coaster. There is no dole whip. You cannot get a dole whip. Here is where you would stand. The line would typically be all the way back here, especially on a hot day. On a hot day, you're going all the way back to a lens oasis. You're like, oh my god, why? I just want to go. I just want a dole whip. Don't get into any trouble now. Um, Congratulations! You just want a new yeah, there's Jungle Cruise. Kind of look through and see that they modeled a pretty good you come on amount of its area. Again, keeping with the theme of uh, licensed rides not really being here, um, something is missing. Um, which, you know, is to be expected because Indiana Jones is closed down anytime I go to the park, so it might as well be closed down in the virtual park too. But they do have the sign, which is even more disappointing. You use the logo right there. 
but you don't have anything. At least with Star Wars, you're like, oh, couldn't get the rights. They have the logo. Why wouldn't you put it? Uh, just, uh, just a minor gripe. Really. Oh, that's taking me away from where I want to go. Here I'm like, oh, that, that trail's leading, going to lead me to the class. No. Um, Alright, so here is... Talk to Vivian. Friend. Oh, once more, I need your help. I I did not have time to clean after our amazing dinner, and now there are dirty pots and pans everywhere, and the restaurant she is packed with demanding customers. Off you go then. Okay. Please do not forget to. Oh, well, he gave us a new quest. Yes. So off you go. let's let's go take take a look at that. And I'll show off the adventure journal a little bit. So here you can kind of see what the quest requires of you. Uh, set the action trail, and if you've already tried, well, not on that one. But if you were to say, just be so uh, out of it that you're like, I don't even, I don't care anymore. Oh, that's a collection one again. Um, I think the royalty party is one though. Yeah, so you can do that, and then if you're like, I don't know where <laughs> I'm, I'm at a, my wit's end, you can just hit show on map, and it'll pop up and be like, okay, here's where you have to go. Like, seriously, just just go here. So they do uh, some good things uh, as far as streamlining and making it easier for a child who might want to, you know, find their way around. And I think with that... Uh, I think that'll pretty much do it. So, thanks for joining us here on uh, Disneyland Adventure. Crowbar cracks open Disneyland Adventure. I don't even know why. Why did I not put my own name ahead of it? Disney's already uh, gotten its PR team to me, too. So, thanks for joining us. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more of Disneyland Adventures or if there's you know any off the beaten path games that you might want to see me possibly uh, crack open um, and I would be more than happy to oblige so thanks again guys and I'm gonna run off and uh, see what I can do about finding Naveen's pots and pans while uh, you guys have a wonderful day thanks